What's wrong with you? What did I, you do? I, I don't know. I don't know. Dude, what she's not okay. I don't. What did you do? I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Dude, know. are you drinking? Dude, Dude, I don't know what happened, man. Dude, she's not okay. We. I just got in a car accident. Uh, a drunk driver went on the wrong side of the road, and he he hit us. I'm not sure what the injuries are, but like, we're not okay. Everything isn't okay. Narcan. Yeah, but I can be fine. No, with suspected drug overdose, we're gonna give her some Narcan, see if we can wake her up. Okay. Sean Run. Sean Run? Alright. You know what happened? Uh, we got in the car crash. They came on the wrong side of the road. Alright. Did you hit your head? I did. I, I was fine though. It was light. Didn't lose any consciousness? You yeah. the whole thing? I, I was okay. Were you restrained? Uh, yes, I have to Alright. No feelings of tinglingness down your back or anything like that? No loss of feeling in your limbs? No, I, I feel fine. Alright. You want to go to the hospital? No, thank you. You sure about that? I'm sure. You know where you are? I'm in mean, a uh, class now.
gonna give another round to Narcan. Second round's ready when, when ready. You need. Delivering second round. Second round administered. Keep ventilating. All right, Corinne, you can come. Missing squad, so correction, it's gonna be the state farm parking lot. Oh, Pace right, waking up. Can right you up. hear me, miss? Can you hear me? What, what happened? happened? Are you okay? Do you take medication? Do you know what happened? Do you know where you are? What happened? Talk to me, what's your name? Over here, farm. All right. Being right here, put the feet by your side. You told me you've been drinking tonight, right? So, told me you only had a couple of beers. You told me you were smoking marijuana too, right? Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you through a couple of tests, okay? Alright, first test I'm gonna do is how to start the gate and stagnant. What I want you to do is steer at this pen, follow the tip of the pen with your eyes and your eyes only, you understand me? Okay, ready? Fix your eyes. Toe pointing forward, I want you to pump by 1,000, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, so I tell you to start. You understand that? Okay, go ahead. Again. I want you to stand there, feet together, hands by your side. I want you to take your left foot, put it in front of your right foot. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. This time you're going to be placed under arrest. Throw you off. Have a seat. Watch your head. Off. When I take this cuff off, I want you to put it on top of your head and leave it there, all right?
Nothing else, right? Nope. Okay. Love the seat over here. Have a seat in that second seat. So is this your correct date of birth? It is. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have you look straight ahead from the camera. Okay? Alright. See so you straight ahead. Take your hat off. Okay. Give me right hand. Right hand. Okay. Those on the place it right on here. Okay, we're gonna hold it there. Okay, good. Give me your thumb. Okay, good. Now we're going to do this finger. Place it here. So we're going to start with that. Why don't you come with me? I'm going to put you in a cell, okay? So we wait for a bail commission to come. Have a seat and relax. Corinne, do you know where you are right now? I'm going to put a collar on you real quickly, okay? You just got into an accident, all right? Ryan left her head. She's breathing okay? She is. Okay. from you, okay? You have you take any medicine? No, no medicine? Okay. Yeah. Right, what were you doing tonight? You don't remember what you were doing? Where were you going? Uh, where do you live? What town? Atkinson. Live in Atkinson, okay. What did you get for a blood pressure? Normal one or uh, on you get dropped to the hospital, okay? So you you don't remember doing any medicine tonight or any other any drugs or anything? Corinne, do you remember anything? Corinne, you still with us? Seventy, sixty-seven. All right, I'm upset. Okay, I'm gonna get dropped to the hospital. Okay. My name is Delaney Ripley and this accident has changed my life completely. From the waist down, I am paralyzed and will be in a wheelchair until the day I die. Every day I relive the pain I went through, both physically and mentally, that morning after prom. Because of this accident, I will not be able to continue cheerleading next year at UNH, which is something I have looked forward to for years. Because of this accident, I won't get to walk up to get my diploma at high school or college graduation become the doctor I have dreamed of being my whole life, or walk down the aisle at my wedding. My life has now changed forever. My name is Sean Rudd. Ever since the accident, I've nowhere been near the same person that I used to be. 
I find myself constantly thinking about the effect it has had on my life and my friend that has now passed away and my other friend that was left in critical condition. I still hear the sirens before I go to bed if I could even fall asleep. And I relive this painful experience every day. I had plans to go to college and hopefully play sports and fulfill my goals of getting a higher education, but since the accident, I don't know if that's possible anymore. Hi, my name's Corinne. A little while ago, I tore my ACL playing soccer and I was prescribed painkillers for the pain. I started taking them regularly and became addicted. When my injury was healed and I could no longer get prescription drugs, I turned to nastier street drugs. The addiction took over my life. My grades in school plummeted, I gave up soccer, and my relationship suffered. I started hanging around with the wrong people and putting myself in bad situations. My goals no longer seemed achievable. At the time of the accident, I had taken too much and overdosed. I only have vague recollection of the accident, but what I do remember has scarred me for life. I've been put into rehab and I'm working to combat my addiction. It's been a rough journey and I still wake up to the horrific sounds and screams of the crash. My name is Al Barney. You never know how one decision will affect the rest of your life. I thought it was fine. A couple drinks and a little bit of weed, I was good to go. As you see based on my outfit alone, I was not. Because of one stupid decision, my life is now basically over. I was accepted to college and ready to start the rest of my life. Not only did this decision throw my life away, it also destroyed the lives of so many other families. Jelani will never be able to walk again. Sean is forced to relive the day of the crash, as do I. But most importantly, I killed Autumn Richardson. Her family now has no choice but to live the rest of her life without a daughter and a sister. My family is too ashamed to visit me in prison, so they basically lost a son as well. And this all happened because of my one decision to get behind the wheel. Hi, my name is Autumn Richardson. I was killed at age 17 by a drunk driver, even though I was doing nothing wrong. I ask you to really think about this. I was the innocent bystander, the one who was driving responsibly, yet I'm the one who is suffering the consequences of the other driver's poor decision, their decision to get behind the wheel while they were intoxicated. I'm the one who is paying the price. As a result, my family will be living their worst nightmare. My parents will lose their daughter, and my brother will lose his sister. They'll be left with the mindset of what if for the rest of their lives. Now, they only have memories to remember me by. I will no longer be a part of their lives. My friends will look at my seat in class, knowing I will never be present again. I will never attend graduation. I won't be able to decorate my hat, walk with my classmates, receive my diploma, nor take a picture with my family at the end of the graduation ceremony. I will miss out on the opportunity to attend college, my dream and goal since I was a kid. I will never have the joy of getting married. I will never walk down the aisle. It's because of a drunk driver that I will never experience the many beautiful things in life. It's because of a drunk driver that my family and friends received the worst news imaginable that day. It's because of a drunk driver that the last moment of my life was a car crashing into me as the shattered glass flew at my face. It's because of a drunk driver that I passed away that day. Now let's have another round of applause for everybody that took part in this today, for all of our sponsors and support. Um, and I, I, I know that you know, there's, there's some laughter that happens when we watch this because we know everybody in this. Uh, and I'll let Officer Pat know that you laughed when he came on the screen. I'll, I'll let him know that. But, um, but we know these people, and that, that makes it kind of like, oh, that would never happen to them. But we need to understand that it can happen to anybody. Let's take yesterday's presentation and today's presentation and couple them together. But this is the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the State of New Hampshire. It's not supposed to happen to those people, or these kinds of things are not supposed to happen. Uh, to us, but sadly they do. So we're not doing this to, to scare you or say, oh my gosh, we just want you to think. We want you to take time. And, and like I said, keep your head screwed on tight these 23 days. You've worked so hard to get to the end zone here. And we want you to be able to enjoy every single minute uh, and every single moment, uh, every single memory that's going to happen over these next three and a half weeks. Uh, they're crucially important and they're things that will catapult you uh, into the rest of your life. So we want you to be 
uh, aware of all of those things and, and enjoy all of those moments. And you, you really can't do that if you're making decisions like the decisions that these people made here. Uh, it, you may think that it's going to make it better, but it actually clouds it and can end up in complete disaster. We know that and we've seen that. And I've been doing this for 30 years. I've been teaching and working in schools uh, and sadly have been part of some of these tragedies and had to go uh, to funerals for my students. Uh, and it, it's, it's not something uh, that anybody wishes upon anybody anytime. So just pay attention. Enjoy every second of these next 23 days. Uh, and, and you do not need uh, any kind of substance to help you do that. Uh, and this is why we do this here today uh, as we get ready for our first of many celebrations uh, tomorrow. So thank you to everybody. Uh, let's have an awesome 23 days, guys. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Take care.